This is a small fan blade. When you blow on it, it begins to spin slowly. Congratulations! You've just turned the power of the wind into kinetic energy. But now a new problem appears. Once you start blowing, the fan quickly comes to a halt and all that energy is lost. So how can we store this moving energy? For inspiration, let's look at something familiar. An electric fan. When you plug it in, the blade spin, pushing cool air toward you. The principle is simple. Electricity drives the motor, and the motor creates wind. But what if we reverse this process? Let the wind drive the blades and the blades generate electricity. To test this idea, you build a small set of blades and connect them to a miniature generator. Inside the generator are coils of wire surrounded by magnets. When the wind turns the blades, the coils spin within the magnetic field, constantly cutting through magnetic lines of force. According to the law of electromagnetic induction, this motion produces an electric current. If you add a battery at the base, that current can be stored. To make it more efficient, you scale up the design. Building a tower tens of meters tall, with long blades that can catch even the gentlest breeze. And that's how you create a modern wind turbine. When the wind blows, the blades spin, generating and storing electrical energy. Just one full rotation of the blades can power an average household for half a day. Now imagine building hundreds of these giant windmills, lined up across open plains or along windy coasts. All their electricity flows through cables, joining together and lighting up thousands of homes. Congratulations! You've just built your very own wind power plant, turning invisible air into boundless energy for the world.